Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. It's Mary Jane. Let's talk about Claw season two, episode seven. It's going down. Oh, mm -mm -mm. Desmond and I found out that nobody has been loyal to her. Everybody's been lying to her. Everybody's been doing shit up behind her back in front of her face and she didn't even know what was going on but we know Desna's smart but damn she's feeling like she got played all the way around like she's like damn he was gonna kill me dr gregory was gonna kill me dr gregory ain't no joke he is ready he want his money and his money now and he wants to take over and be a kingpin drug lord bigger, bigger than what he is now and he wants to be able to supply all these pain management places with drugs where he can make his money and launder his money too as well and as lata she's doing her thing you know she ain't worried about a damn thing as well she got you know her little doctor gregory she got him going on and you know she shot bryce and she's making jen do her nails like hey you better do my nails what you gonna say huh here's some money for your troubles here's some money for your paint i was like um as lata got a lot of nerve and then on top of that, like Dr. Ken got himself out the hot water, him and Polly, because Polly was going to go down talking about, you know, she's a madam and she's running, you know, a business and a service. And, you know, he, Dr. Ken didn't want that to be on the wiretap, but it was. So, you know, he did his job. He went to go see Eslata. You know what the funny part was when Dr. Ken went to go see Eslata? And um, he was he was like, oh, look at the little dog. And the dog was like, woof, woof, woof. I was just like, yo. Only Dr. Kim would think that these dogs are not vicious and try to pet the dog. I was like, why would you do that? So, and Uncle Daddy done got himself shot. Uncle Daddy thinks he's the man again. And he finally opens up and tells Desmond the truth about the reason why, you know, Dr. Gregory and Exlata need, you know, Desna because her name is on the license of all the pain management buildings because she has a clean record and, you know, she's good. She's golden. And so, and then after that, there was nobody else. They was giving out licenses too. So she was the last one in, in, in command. I'm surprised Dr. Gregory couldn't get a license too as well, but, you know, Uncle Daddy said it, they wasn't giving any more out to a doctor. If he started his own business, he his own pain management center or family practice, he couldn't pass out, you know, um, he couldn't launder money and drugs through his business. I guess not. So now, you know, um, Desna knows that she ain't got a friend in the world. And she's so mad at Rola. She's mad at Uncle Daddy. She's mad at um, Eslata. She's mad at Dr. Gregory. She was like, he was going to kill me. Yep. Because, you know, Uncle Daddy said, you know, um, once he marry you and then he kills you, the license transferred to him. And it's like, damn, she ain't got, yo, she's hurt. She's hurt that he was going to kill her. Not only is he playing her, but he was going to kill her at the end with Eslata. Like, damn, like, now she got to come up with a plan. And, you know, it's just like, damn. And didn't Desna look good? Desna was dressing her ass off this episode. She looked, I mean, I'm trying to tell you, she was dressed from fly. And then, you know, Virginia, she looked like one of the fly girls from In Living Color from back in the day with her outfits. Looking like a little young Jennifer Lopez <laughs> with no butt and no breast. <laughs> so... Let's get started. So we got Desna. She's burning her wedding dress. She doesn't know what's going on. She's just burning her wet wedding dress. And she's just staring at, you know, the clear blue sky. She don't know what's happening. And, you know, um, Virginia and, you know, first, you know, um, her brother, Dean, he was trying to talk to Des and see what was going on, try to have a conversation with her, but she was just ignoring him. She wouldn't say anything, and he didn't know. He was like, she was out in space, like she was somewhere else, and he was scared, so he ran. He called Virginia. Virginia was like, what's, on, what's going on, girl? What are you burning in here? And so that's when, you know, Des and I kind of worked out burning my wedding dress, and she's ready to go. She's ready to come up with a plan. She takes Virginia with her, and she's on the road to find out how she can get these mother effers back. <laughs> and so we got Ken. He meets up with the cop or whatever, and they threaten him to make sure that he gets the drop on Eslata because if not Polly's going down and he's going down and so she's he was like I gotta do what I gotta do and then Desna tells you know Virginia the truth about you know Dr. Gregory um what he's been really doing and how like he's been playing her the whole time with Eslata and you know Virginia keeps running her mouth and Desna just wants to think she tells her to shut up be quiet <laughs> So I'm just like, whoa. And then we have, you know, Anne, Anne thinking that she's going to, you know, get some foster children again with, you know, her former, you know, girlfriend. 
um, the cop lady, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen because the cop lady's after to get her, but Anne can't see it. Anne is just in love, and she's glad to have the cop lady back. She's glad to be with her, and she's talking about adopting kids again, you know, being a foster parent, and they was like, well, September's come, if when September comes around, are we still good? Then we're going to adopt kids, so she's living in a whole new fan fantasy world, and she thinks everything's going to be great, but she doesn't know that is a rotten apple in the mix, and it's actually her girlfriend that's trying to take her under. She's trying to take her under, trying to take her down, put her behind bars, her and her whole crew. And you know, right now, Anne is in her feelings thinking that she don't want to do any more cr no crime or anything because she finally got the love of her life back. But too bad the love of her life don't love her like that. That's just how it is. <laughs> and so then now we see Roller. Roller's getting ro um, waterboard <laughs> and he's getting messed up. And I'm just like, damn. And so then Dr. Ken shows up and then Dr. Ken is talking to, you know, Eslada. And Eslada was like, oh, I know who you are. I can smell the nervousness. And so um, Dr. Kim was like, oh, that's because I'm loving these or something like that, he said. <laughs> And then when they was putting w Roller under the water and uh, uh, waterboating him and hit him, you know, Eslada was like, wake him up, Dr. Ken. And he and he was tapping him on the face. He was, um, Dr. Ken was tapping Roller on the face. And so she was like, stop being pussy. You know, this is like a baptism where I come from. I was just like, Eslata is no joke. And then Roller still won't roll. He still won't say anything. So they bring Roller's wife and his baby down and threaten to kill the baby. So then Roller comes up with a quick, quick, quick story and says that he put Uncle Daddy on the bus, but before then, you know, he was arguing with Desna over some bank accounts and the FBI and things like that. So they let Roller go and the baby go, and then that's when Roller finds out that the baby's not his. He was set up to marry this woman to be part of the family so he can be captivated. So now he don't have no more loyalty to the Russians at all, so now he can go all the way in too as well so I was just like damn and we have Bryce and he's in the hospital about to get surgery he doesn't because he still have some particles left and some bullet room scrap metal left in his body and he's not he's trying to walk again but it's really hard but him and Jennifer decide that they're gonna leave they're gonna move on and um that um Denise Jen she has a she has some some money that Eslada done gave her after she done almost cut down her cubicles and her nails and so they're ready to go you know, to leave. Well, let's see if that really happens, if Bryce is able to walk away from Uncle Daddy and Roller. And is Jen going to be able to walk away from Uncle Daddy, Roller, and Desna and the crew? So we'll see if that even happens. They're just talking bull crap right now. <laughs> and so Roller does tell, you know, Eslada that, you know, Uncle Daddy killed Chip and he put him on a bus and he's gone. So we'll see what happens. And so we have Desna. She's with all the people. She's with her, her whole crew. And, you know, She's just talking, they're at, po I believe they're at Polly house, the whole gang's at Polly's house, and they're talking about, like, how can we get them, how can we, you know, get Eslata, how can we get Dr. Gregory, how can we bring them down, how can we affect them, because now she wants revenge, revenge is the sweetest thing in the world, revenge is like the sweetest joy, and that's to get in pussy, that's what Tupac said, so, <laughs> so anyways, you know, um, she wants revenge. I don't blame her. I would want all types of revenge. Eslata and Dr. Um, Gregory playing her like that. Oh, my goodness. It's so wrong. And so that's when she realized that she can go to the warehouse and she can destroy the drugs because Uncle Daddy tell them where the drugs is at, where the warehouse is at, and all this other stuff. And then, you know, that's when Desmond was like, I know how to make a mean cocktail and blow up the place. And Polly is down. She was like, oh, I love the smell of gasoline. I love the smell of fire. I love the smell of burning stuff. But Jen and actually Anne are not in for it. They don't really want to be bothered. They don't want to do it. They, you could see that they're holding some regret because they don't want to go in anymore. You know, they've been going too far and they, be, and, and they feel like this is not their problem. Problem. You know, Jen is worrying about her husband that's gonna about to go to surgery, her kids, and Anne is worrying about building her relationship back up with the police lady. <laughs> so they don't want no parts in it, but, you know, they're part of the gang. So um, Virginia, she's down. She's ready to go. So they get there. They get the drugs. They was going to burn the drugs, but then they had a change of heart with, you know, um, Uncle Daddy and Rolla. They're actually going to keep the drugs. They had a little bit of a shootout. Their mask that Virginia got was really funny, but they didn't wear masks when they was leaving the warehouse with the stolen drugs. So I wonder if they're going to be identified at all. But right now, they have not been identified by any of you know, Dr. Gregory's crew at all, all the Russians either. So I'm just like, oh, they got away with it. 
little shootout. A lot of it was, it, it wasn't, it didn't look really real, but, you know, Uncle Daddy, you know, was shooting his ass off and Rolla was shooting and Desna was ready to shoot the gun. She stole, she she fired that gun. She almost shot Uncle Daddy when he was trying to come inside the warehouse because she didn't know who he was because she heard gunfires going off earlier. So now they all at the warehouse, they make the plan to take the drugs because Uncle Daddy was like, this is the leverage. This is what we're going to need to get them. You know, we build our money up or something because, you know, right now, none of the girls in the gang, they don't want to peddle drugs. They don't want to sell drugs. They don't want to do none of that. They're already doing way too much as it is. Virginia was like, I don't mind being a corner boy. I don't mind selling drugs on the corner. I need a new bag. <laughs> so it is what it is. I'm still feeling sick. So that is beets. I blend beets, garlic, and ginger all together. It's not really that appetizing to taste, but I feel a lot better than what I felt earlier. But I can still feel it going on. So I'm going to make... So I'm going to make some kale, some tomatoes, the little green ones, and then some garlic, and then also ginger and spinach. Mix it together. Hopefully, I feel better. I'm going to make that once I'm done with this video. So moving on from that. So, you know, Ann is really against holding on to the drugs, but they're holding on to the drugs because they're going to use it as some type of leverage or something, a blackmail or anything they can use it for instead of just burning it up. And so Desna goes along with the plan. Ann is like, she doesn't want to be bought. She don't want to do that. She'd rather burn it because she knows that, you know, it's possible that they're going to have to peddle these drugs around town. And plus, they're going to have evidence on them as well when the Russians and Dr. Gregory comes looking for their drugs. So with that situation... You know, Anne is feeling a certain type of way. She's she's like really done. She's just done with it. And I'm just like, damn. And so so Dr. Gregory, he's at he's at a he's at a game watching, you know, soccer and whatever. He's with two other different women that we ain't never seen him with, but we know they was with him. And he gets a phone call to find out that his drugs is gone, it's missing and, and his man got shot up and then he calls Eslata at Lata comes through. She was like, What's going on? He was like, I got robbed, who did this? And they're thinking, Oh, is this person, is that person? Or it actually could be Clay, it actually can be Uncle Daddy. <laughs> and so now they're going to do the investigation. But right now, you know, Dr. Gregory, he actually thinks it's Eslata. He thinks it's the Russian. He thinks they robbed him. And he's kind of thinking it's Clay too as well. But he's thinking they're too weak to do that too as well. So, and plus he has a little deal going on with Clay and Eslata. Go going on with Clay and Rolla where they're supposed to double cross, you know, um, Eslata at the end of the day. And they're working together on a low. But he lied to them too as well because they didn't know that he was working with Eslata. So we'll see what happens with that situation. So now we see that Eslata and Dr. Gregory are going to be fighting and arguing. They're going to start a war between each other. And right now they got to find out who got the drug. So Eslata is looking for Clay. And also, you know, Dr. Gregory, he's looking for Clay too as well. They're trying to find Uncle Daddy. They're trying to find out where the drugs is at. And this is the part where Ann, they bring all the drugs to the salon to hide them there. I was like, they're going to bring it right to the place, right to their spot. And yes, they did. But now... Um, and it's like, she's out. She don't want nothing to do with it. She's gone because she wants to live that happy fantasy fairy tale life with a police officer. She got to get real unless, Aunt, unless her girlfriend was a dirty cop, it's not going to work out, baby. So she thinks she's going to have a fantasy world. You know, the, it's over that, that situation is over and done with now. So, you know, she's really upset about that. So, you know, Jennifer got to go to the hospital, the drugs are there. And then, so then that's when Clay drops the bomb on, you know, does not to let her know the reason why they're after her because Desna's like, Why are they coming after me? Why do they need me? Why do they want me? I'm just a small fish. And that's when Clay lets her know, You license, baby. You license. You license. You license. You license to funnel drugs. You license to have a pain management shop. And that's why all the pain. But she never knew that she did that she was licensed as well because Clay never told her that. Because if she if he did tell her that, she would have more power and more say. So now that doesn't know that she's licensed to run a pain management, sh a pain management shop, she can be in charge. Like she can be the head honcho and she don't have to take the back burner once the russians and dr gregory get out the picture but it's going to be war and i wonder if dr gregory's going to try to tell you know as um desna the truth or as as, as lots are going to try to tell desna the truth and they're going to try to try to get desna on their side or are they going to try to kidnap her or something like that so we'll see try to get information out of her but they know they need her because she can continue to open pain management clinics and they can launder their money and you know through through the pain management clinics too as well because they're selling a lot of weight they're selling weight because they stole two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of drugs or they stole two million dollars worth of drugs so we'll see what happens with that situation we'll see how they're going to try to play it because right now you know um 
what's his name, Dr. Gregory, he wants to go, he went to go see, you know, um, as he went to go see Desna at the nail stop and she was crying because she just, you know, she's just too done and too through about how they was going to kill her. He walks in the shop. She plays it off. You know, Polly acts like she was talking about a story about Belle Div Devon started doing the dancing and stuff like that. He started laughing. So, you know, Desna goes to see, goes to, you know, um, Dr. Gregory's house, whatever. She plays it off like, no, we're not going to have sex. Wait till we marry or we'll get all excited and we'll get into it once, you know, we wait. He was like, we've been having sex, so why wait? Because she don't want to have sex with your lying, dirty, stinking ass. And so... Um, she wakes up in the morning, she hears a phone call where he's actually thinking the Russians probably robbed him and he wants to do an investigation to find out if they did. So, you know, Desna, she goes to talk to Rola and she tells Rola, like, let's just at least take one bag because Rola's like, no, we need that as leverage. We need the money. We need the power because they don't have, because Clay don't have no money right now. You see what he's driving. So now at this situation, they're going to, Rola, you know, lets, you know, Desna know that the baby's not his and he got played too as well. So she convinces Rola to let's just take one one bag one duffel bag of the drugs hide it hide it in one of you know um at Slata's drug men's house her bodyguards the security guards the Boris the twins or whatever and then we'll call you know Dr. Gregory and let him come through and he does he comes through he finds the drugs he kills Boris so that's gonna bring Eslata back down where she's gonna try to go after Clay and so they might fight among each other unless Eslata is able to convince Dr. Gregory that this is a setup that this is a plan that somebody's playing us against each other and if they ever gonna figure out that it's Desna and Roller doing it so we'll see what happens I was just like damn so, you know, um, so right now Ken is off the hook with the police. So I don't know if Ken got anything on the wire tape, on the wire tap that had anything to do with Desna London money or did Ann really snitch to, you know, Arlene and tell her about what Desna actually does or she alluded and gave her information and she taped it. And if you did that, you're going to go down, man. You're going to feel worse than shit that you got played. You got played like a fiddle. You got played big time. You should have known after you screwed over a woman like that, a cop woman like that, where she lost her job and she was only on foot patrol and your people set her up. There's, you don't go back to situations like that. You never go back when you hurt somebody and you break their heart. You don't go back because you know what? The is revenge now she's gonna be trying to get you and bring you down like i don't know how people think it's okay like when you dog somebody out and you hurt them and you and you run them through the mud and you throw bleach and gasoline on them how do you expect to get back in a relationship or be with that person for them to trust you like i don't know why people be sometimes you just gotta call you gotta know when to hold them and you gotta know when to fold them and it seems like ann didn't know how to unfold them because she just was in this fan fan fantasy fairy tale lifestyle with Arlene which ain't gonna work when she's a criminal she's a cop makes no sense but you know it's TV so right now the plan has worked because you know Dr. Gregory he thinks it's the Russians so they're gonna be going at it and then you know um Desmond's about to go to the beach with Dean and then she gets arrested by Arlene and her her partner and Dean is just crying and running after Desmond running out the car I was just like damn Dean is gonna break down after this peace I'm out one love to all my peeps and my peoples